All right, so this is a bit of a wrap-up video with all of this. And, whoa, it has been a few days here. It is Christmas Eve 2022, and it's been negative degrees here in Nashville. And blizzard, not blizzard, more some snow, but cold. Our heater blew, no heater in the house, um, you know having issues with hot water. They've been shutting electricity off. Whoa. So anyway, but, uh, so a couple days, you know, my head was kind of in a million places, but here we go. So I've got, I ended up moving over the, the 102 from the, the Mesa. I put on the, uh, the Royer 121. So we have 57, 121, 57, 102. And then here, this is the uh, greenback, open back cab, 16 ohms. And that I ended up throwing the 57 and uh, a 160, like a little biodynamic. I recorded that. That that I haven't made a video. We're going to put that in. And then the matchless is not set up. I just threw the mics up. And uh, we got to get a setting on that. So, but there it is. So, wow, right? Whoa. A little bit of delay. I was just mixing. Let's go back to playback engines. Okay, so, hey man. Merry almost Christmas. This should be a little brighter. Let me just check these out. So this is the matchless right here. I'll show you. There's your there's your 57 on top and 102 on the bottom. Let's get a little phase. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, see the the, the bottom one, the, the 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 57 was low volume too. So let me just take a look at this. Let's see. Yeah, close enough for rock and roll. All right, so let's do this. sounds pretty good all right so let's check this uh, phase again and this is the 57 and the TLM 102 Man, I love that TLM 102 man two of my favorite youtubers that's what they use yeah look at that boy okay dead on let's take a little second and record it so this is now the Strat in position two with the matchless in channel two. Not too loud. Tone, there's a tone knob on channel two on the H30. Yeah, let's try a little of that. So this is a matchless HC30 into the matchless cab with a 57 and a TLM 102 with my Strat position two.
if you're a guitar player who's never played a matchless amp with a matchless cab, you should do it because if it, it's cool, I mean, if it may not be your thing, but I either way, I would say you should do it just because I think it's a good experience. So there we go. So this first one is the 57. That's the 102. <laughs> So here's the 57, uh, and the 57 is on a greenback because it's a, the, the matchless cab is greenback and like a 12H, a Heritage, I think it's a Heritage 30. So this is 57 on the greenback. And this is the 102 on the Heritage. And together. And now here is the, I think it's this guitar, same kind of playing with the Vox AC30 into that open back 212 greenback cab that has a 57 and an M160. <laughs> Crazy. It's like not as dense. It's a different trip. And here's the matchless. Yeah. And then the uh, fox. It's got that vox bonk. And I guess in theory, I probably could get. The matchless, maybe a little more bond, but I don't like it. I like the matchless kind of just the way it is. A little more body underneath the track, and then AC30. So that's both of those open back cabinets, and now we'll go to the Bogner. So here we've got we've got the Bogner cab and we've got the Mesa cab. So here is the Bogner cab. the Mesa cab with the Royer. to the Bogner cab and this is all with the rectifier. Feels like I'm marching, you know, and here's the Mesa with the ribbon, the 121. Back on the Bogner. 
And here's the Vox into the open back 212 with Greenback. <laughs> My alarm's going crazy with all this shutting the electricity on and off. It keeps sending me sensors. And now here's the matchless into the matchless cab. <laughs> So that's all four cabs. They all each have a 57 on them. And then two of them have TLM 102s and two of them have ribbons. One is an M160, one is a Royer 121. And that's it. There's no more room. That's it. That's all I got. I don't need any more cables. So there it is. So we're going to start doing tracks and having fun. Apart from client stuff, because client stuff you can't really make videos, you know, it's it's kind of like, yeah, it's it's not for public consumption. It's their music, or or it's my music, but it's, you know, commissioned for them. So we'll just start from scratch, and I think I set up a little template for, yeah, I, I put this on a video. I set up a template for, for, uh, drum programming we'll open this up and then that's it drum programming yeah i think we did the m m which is modern and massive and i've got them all again like i, I just I, I may just use this for now it just i like it just kind of sounds cool right out of the gate and it's it's laid out nice right get good drums let's see one thing that is weird about it, um, there we go. one thing that's weird about it is it's set over a lot of octaves, so I guess I could go like this and go like this. Yeah, so there you go. So this will be kind of the basic drum template I probably start with for the videos. And uh, we're just going to have some fun with it. Maybe some of you guys want to play on this stuff. Like if you're a bass player or if you want to do a guitar solo or whatever, man. I'm always down for kind of doing it. You know, we used to do those fun things on Rig Talk back in the day. And I used to do a lot of stuff on Gear Sluts too. So, But there it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired. Bogner cab. Whoa, it doesn't sound like a Bogner cab. Bogner cab. There's a nice frequency between that and the bass, and then the Mesa. Feels almost like, um, you know, some of those, wow, those Transformer movies, like, tick, tick, tick. there's something like mechanical sounding about the Mesa.
Some people see a nice comment. They're like, "What's with the? Why do? You, why do you still have the click on there? I'm. So, I don't even hear the click. <laughs> I'm so used to playing with it. It's weird when it's not there. Last but not least, Bogner Cab. All right, man. I hope everybody has a happy, safe holiday. Don't get too crazy. Keep it together. <laughs> if your family's aggravating, just, you know, restraint of pen and tongue, as we, as we say it. Just, uh, you know, sometimes it's best just to walk away. <laughs> I can tell you what, what John H. says, but I, it's foul. But it basically is sometimes it's best just not to say anything. So there you have it. Yeah! Bogner Cab! I'm ready to make some music. See y'all next year. Well, there may be one more video. Well, there may be like 15 more videos, right? <laughs> it's a free country. It is, isn't it? Yeah, we can do whatever we want, man. Anyway, peace out. There you go.